From Sarangani Province, Philippines, currently recognized as pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. The welterweight division, the most prestigious, glamorous antique in all of boxing. In it are stories of kings who gave birth to other kings. In 2021, two kings collide. Boom! And down goes Hatton! Oh, he is. No way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's gonna step into the ring. The brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. One who has done it all. Achieved everything there is to achieve. Destroying everyone in his generation was not enough for Manny Pacquiao. So he simply decided to take on a new generation of fighters and do the same. Pacquiao fight is a Pacquiao's a one-dimensional fighter. He's coming. And there's Pacquiao, chance. I love Pacquiao and I'm scared he's gonna get knocked out. Yeah. Can I say it like that? For sure. I'm scared he's gonna get knocked out. Oh, and there's a left hand. 30 seconds left in the ninth and oh, down goes Thurman. Is it to prove a point? Or a simple message that the king hasn't left and is here to claim what's rightfully his. His opponent, a silent killer, nicknamed The Truth. Undefeated with a perfect record, Earl Spence Jr. possesses a complete arsenal and skills to give Pacquiao the hardest fight of his career. At 42, the Pac-Man has displayed a phenomenal speed and intelligence in his last two fights against two in their prime boxers, dropping Thurman inside the first round with a pitch-perfect punch that made the world stop. Six-pack, bro? Yeah. <laughs> can, we, can, we see the, can we see the pack? Oh! Hey, he's still ready. When does he get old? That's what it is. That's it, I just said it. When does he get old? Old lefty. Old lefty, and he's a lefty, he's a southpaw! He says, yeah. hey, you might be onto something. You might be onto <laughs> something. Yeah, you might be onto something. It might be in the air. It might be in the air for the old timers. A true 50-50 fight. One miscalculated move from either one of them. And we might witness a scary end to the fight. So, of course, I want to see Errol Spence win. And um, actually, I'm going to call him and give him some pointers. I think, I think, I think he runs into a left hand. Man, he's going to jump into a left hand. Spence will have to capitalize early on with establishing his jab and controlling the distance. If Pac-Man is able to use his fantastic footwork and unleash the infamous left straight hook, Earl's night might become ugly. 21st of August, MGM Grand. We await fireworks. A showcase of speed versus power. And age versus youth. The Pac-Man versus the truth. Pacquiao versus Spence.